Definitely check your local plumbing codes, but in my opinion, for hygienic reasons, it's definitely worth it to caulk parts of your toilet to the floor. We'll cover those parts a little later in the video. So I'm gonna show you my foolproof method here to get a 100% perfect job when it comes to caulking toilets. If you attempt this job and you just go ahead and wing it, it's gonna end bad, like really, really bad. Let's get into the job. I'm gonna show you how to do it. You're going to need a caulking gun. Dripless is the way to go here. For a caulk choice here, we are gonna use an acrylic water-based product. Dynaflex 230 is gonna fit the bill. The toilet that I'm replacing upstairs was caulked with an acrylic water-based product very similar to DAP Dynaflex. It's been 15 years, that has stood up remarkably well. That being said, silicone is gonna work just as good and it might in fact be more durable. I've got three toilets in my house that needed caulking. I did one with white silicone, one with clear silicone, and then I'll do the final one with this DAP Dynaflex 230. When it comes to cutting the tip here, I like to cut it nice and big on a bit of an angle. You wanna make sure that you're gonna get proper contact on the toilet and the floor at the same time in one pass. If you're gonna err, err on the side of cutting a little bigger. And then I like to put a little line on the top here just so you know what is going on with the tube at all times. When it comes to applying it, you're gonna to wanna to put it down in a pushing motion. If you're dragging the tube, it's not really going to get as good of contact as if you're putting the caulking out front and then running through it with the rest of the gun. So I like to push it. Location, you're going to want to leave the back of the toilet open for a couple of reasons. Number one, if there's some kind of a leak in here and the water is pooling up in there, it's going to come out the back and notify you rather than being trapped in there. Number two, it's just a pain in the butt caulking around the back, so just don't do it. When you get rolling, make sure you keep a firm grip pressure. You really wanna force the material in there. Don't get crazy, but keep it frisky. Now that that's on there, you can see it's a little messy up front here. It's not gonna be a big deal. I will show you with the profiling and cleanup, but just inspect your bead here and if there's a little skinny spot here that's not quite contacted, just go over it before you start messing with it. Now, in order to get this looking extra crispy, you wanna get yourself a little spray bottle here with some soapy water. You don't have to get too crazy on the mix. With a bottle this size, two or three big squirts of dish soap is gonna work great. Fill that up with water, shake it all about. You wanna put just a light mist over the whole bead. And that's just gonna shut down any of that sticky smudgy mess that happens when you go to smooth out that bead. Now in order to get this profiled and looking absolutely beautiful, the finger is not gonna get the job done. Your finger is gonna flare the caulking out and you're always gonna notice it from your up high viewing angle. You wanna get something like either a credit card or a specific profiling tool with a 90 degree edge on there. You can do it with a 90 here because the bottom of the toilet is round and there's more than enough space for the caulking to adhere to both surfaces. So a 90 degree is gonna be the best. Credit card, cut it off so it's a 90. It'll work okay, but the profiling tool is gonna to work considerably better, especially if you have any grout areas where you need to really dig in there and squeegee it out. If you need a profiler, this little kit here is gonna be your best option. It's quite a bit better than some of the cheaper versions. Tons of different profile options and the little units themselves are extremely stiff. The edges are sharp. Best part of this kit is the caulking removal tool. That thing is a game changer. Let's get profiling here. Grab yourself some paper towel. With these little profiling tools, the flat part of them is gonna be the leading edge. You wanna hold this thing at 90 degrees and square to the caulking line. That's gonna give you the cleanest edges. As the caulking builds up on here, wipe it off on the paper towel and continue on. If you need to do a couple of passes to get off all the residue, that's fine. That's a thing of beauty. If you've got a couple spots that you're not quite happy with, take the soapy water, spray it on your finger, give it one last little go around just to touch it up. And if you've got some soapy water pooled up, go ahead and wipe that off with some paper towel. Just be very careful that you do not hit the bead because you will mess it up. And hey, if you wanna see what would happen if there was an internal leak with your toilet and you've cocked it to the floor, check out this video right over here. <laughs> I like the, <clears throat> I prefer the water-based acrylic prime. <laughs> I prefer, the <laughs> yeah, the silicone or the caulking. Oh God. Let's just cut this off here. 